What is the Tommy Twenty Tom? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be doing eighty facts about South Korea. So yeah, let's but let's move on to quote of the day. Today's quote of the day is Jesus is with you, even when you don't feel his presence. He is never so close to you as he is during as he is during your spiritual battles. And that was by Saint Padre Pio. So yeah, let's move on to eighty facts about Korea. Let's start or South Korea. Let's get started. Number one, the name Korea comes from Goryeo, which was like a name given to the dynasty established by General Wang Jian in 80, 918. Goryeo means high and clear. Some poetic interpretations of the name Korea are land of high mountains and sparkling streams and land of the, mar and land, and land of the morning calm. Number two, most restaurants, including McDonald's, will, will, will deliver food straight to homes in South Korea. Number three, toilets across the country also feature pleasant flushing sounds, background music, and colored water. Mm. Number four, in Korea, babies are considered one year old at birth. Number five, only 3.2% of South Koreans are overweight, which ties the country of Japan for the lowest percentage in the world. Number six, South Korea men love makeup, spending close to 900 million US dollars a year, or a quarter of the world's men's cosmetics. Up to 20% of the male Korean population is reported to use makeup regularly. Number seven, I'm gonna skip. Number eight, in South Korea, it is perfectly illegal to drink alcohol in public. People can, drink, can carry open containers of this favorite alcoholic beverage and even take a drink or two. Number nine, when a Korean theme is written in red ink, this indicates that a, that a person is about to die, die or is already dead. Number 10, Number 10, I'm gonna skip. Number 11, South Koreans believe that leaving an electric fan on overnight will kill the person sleeping directly below it. Number 12, the microchips for Apple's iPhones are made by the South Korean company, Samsung. Huh? <sighs> Number 13, on Jeju Island, South Korea's largest island, large giant stone statues known as Dol ha Harubang or old grandfather can be found along the beaches. Newlywed women believe that if they touch the statue's long, broad, phallic looking noses, they will be blessed with fertility. Mm. Number 14. South Korea South Koreans consider the number 4 as unlucky as and it is associated with death. This belief come, seems to have come from China. Number 15. More than 2 billion people have viewed the Gundam style music video by of a Korean K-pop artist PSY since 2011. It topped the charts in 30 countries around the world. World leaders including US President Barack Obama and, and British Prime Minister David Cameron have mimicked the dance. The song refers to the Gundam district of Seoul. Number 16. South Korea is the largest market for plastic surgery per capita in the world. It is estimated between one-fifth and one-third of the women in Seoul have gone under the knife for at least one cosmetic procedure. Number 17. Group blind dating in South Korea is called meeting or so getting and is a very popular way for young university students to meet over dinner and drinks. Number 18. Along with Tokyo residents, Seoul... Residents get the least amount of sleep of any other of any residents of major cities in the world. Just fewer than six hours a night. Number nineteen. South Koreans enjoy showing off their relationship statuses publicly. Number twenty. South Korea has the world's fastest wireless speeds on the planet, with an average download speed thirty three point five megabits per second, nearly three times the average speed of second place Hong Kong. The country also has an average upload speed of seventeen megabits per second. One hundred percent of South Koreans have broadband access. Number twenty one. South Koreans love honey butter chips, which are potato chips flavored with honey and butter from France. I actually, me and my sister, we love honey butter chips and they are so good. I love them so much. Because shops run out of them so fast, raffles are held for a chance to buy a bag and the chips can sell for up to you up to $100 US dollars a bag on eBay. McDonald's even sold honey butter flavored french fries in South Korea for a while. Yeah, so like since we actually, so we actually go to Carrollton 
and there's like a lot of Asian places there and we go to like I guess H Mart and Asian stores there and you get it you get honey butter chips and they are so good I love them so much yeah <coughs> sorry <laughs> <sighs> Number 22. In 2012, a prison in the South Korean city of Pohang became a home to the world's first robotic pr prison guards. <coughs> Number 23. South Koreans love shopping, and the country has some of the biggest shopping malls in the world. Those stores are open until 4 o'clock in the morning, while most restaurants, bars, and cafes are only open are open only until 11 o'clock at night. Or 11, 11 p.m. Number 24, South Korea's Yoido Full Gospel Church has the biggest congregation in the world. As of February 13, 2014, the Seoul-based Pentecostal Christian Church had close to 1 million members. On any given Sunday, 200,000 faithful will attend one of seven services, and an additional 200,000 to 300,000 will watch on TV and in satellite churches. Number 25, baseball in South Korea is called Yagu, and teams are named after corporations like Samsung and Kia. The Korean baseball organization was established in 1981 as a way for people to let off steam by dictator General Jun Do Wan, who tried to improve his image by throwing out the first pitch at every game. Mm. Number 26, South Koreans are automatically classified at birth according to their blood type, which is a custom that originated in Japan but has become very important in South Korean culture and may even determine who gets to marry whom. Number 27, South Koreans love sweet potato so much that there is every possible dish flavor with sweet potato, including main courses, des de desserts, chips, latte, red salads, and sweet potato top pizza. Number 28, taxis in South Korea are color-coded according to the level of service offered. A gray or white taxi is a basic car with a qualified with a potentially inexperienced driver, while the black cars are luxury cars with experienced drivers. Number 29, all South Korean roofs are curved at the ends, giving the appearance of a smile. Number 30, eyelid surgery is one of the most common plastic surgery procedures performed in South Korea. Most wealthy young so South Koreans receive double eyelid surgery for their 16th birthday as a gift to make their eyes appear more Western. Number 31, South Korea's national dish is kimchi, which is probably, I'm pretty sure it's pickled cabbage. So it is a combination of vegetables and spices that have been fermented underground for months. It is served with almost everything. The first written description of making kimchi dates to about AD 1250, and there are about 170 varieties of the dish. Number 32, dog, is a dish that is actually served in Korean restaurants and street markets. Dog meat has been eaten in South Korea for centuries, but has become quite controversial among other Asian nations. Ba Boston Tang is a traditional Korean soup made with dog meat, which means invigorating soup. A special breed of dog, the Nurongi, is, bre is bred for its meat. Pet dogs are usually not eaten. Number 33, the Shinsuke Department Store in Centrum City, Busan, South Korea, is the world's largest department store as of 2009. Number 34, playing the online video game StarCraft is a legitimate career in South Korea. Since the game launched in 1988, nearly half of, the, of all the games have been sold in South Korea. It is one of the best-selling games for the personal computer industry. There are also cable channels devoted solely to the game. Number 35. The South Korean National Information Agency estimates that 40% of the people between the ages of 9 and 12 have an internet addiction. In 2011, South Korea passed a law called the Shutdown or Cinderella Law that, be law that bans anyone younger than 16 by online game sites, which is largely ignored by the youth. Number 36, South Korean boys and men practice a thing called no homo or skinship where they cultivate a bond by touching each other, usually with blood time. Number 36. Yeah, I'm just gonna get number 36. Number 37. Love motels are very popular in South Korea. They feature tiny themed rooms with outrageous decorations where a couple can hook up for overnight. And they can be found in almost any part of the big cities and are so trendy and clean that tourists on a budget and business people on short stays can check in for a night. Love hotels also rent by the hour.
<laughs> so I'll ever just text something really quick. Oh. Yeah, okay. Okay. Let's get back. Number 38. Instead of air heaters, Koreans have heated feet, heated floors called ondo or warm stone that heat is passed in pipes under the floor. This heating system goes back to the Koguro or Goguryeo dynasty from 37 to 668 BC. In South Korea, more than 90% of the houses have ondo and people sleep, eat, sleep, and watch TV on the, on the warm floor. Number 39, South Korea passed a law in 1999 that, that requires all online shopping and baking to be done using Internet Explorer. It, it is still in place. Number 40, few South Koreans choose not to marry, and an unmarried person is called a big baby in Korean slang. There are two kinds of marriage in South Korea, yanne, which means love marriage, and chongmen, which means arranged marriage. Number 41, South Korea harvests more than 90% of the world's seaweed consumption. Number 42, South Koreans are the, are the world's biggest users of credit cards in 2011, making 129.7 transactions per person that year, compared with 77.9 transactions per American. Number 43, Hollow or Korean wave is, is the word for the South Korean wave of popular culture. President Obama even referred to, to it at, during a March 2012 visit to South Korea. Number 44, the South Korean people are one of the most uniform populations in the world. They are, they are related to the Chinese, which is, to the Mongols groups, including the Chinese, which in total make up around 70% of the world's population. They share much in common with the Chinese, Mongolians, and Japanese. Number 45, 10-pin bowling was introduced to South Koreans by American GIs during the Korean War, and it is still a popular sport in South Korea today. Number 46, the Mungangwa Rose of Sharon is South Korea's national flower. It is a type of hibiscus and is represented in the national anthem. It is a symbol to the Koreans of the glories and adversities of their past. Number 47, the crane is a symbol of good fortune in South Korea. Red crown cranes can stand about 5 feet or 1.5 meters high. Number 48, Koreans have two legends about their country's founding. The first tells a godlike figure, figure called Dangun or Tangun, who established an ancient state in North Korea around 2033 BC. The other, supported by Chinese text, states that a Manchu tribal chief named Kija led a band of his followers to Joseon after the fall of the Chinese Shang Dynasty around 1100 BC. Number 49, Number 49, I'm gonna skip. Number 50, on the, on the South Korean island of Jeju, women traditionally go out to work while their husbands stay home. These women are called a hanyeol, or sea woman, and they die for sea archers, abalone, and octopus, continuing a tradition that goes back 1,500 years and is passed down from mother to daughter. Number 51, for three weeks after a baby's birth in South Korea, a straw rope of chili peppers or pine needles known as Kamjo is hung across the door of the house to frighten away evil spirits and warn people not to enter. Seaweed soup and rice are also offered to Samson Hamioni, the Korean grandmother spirits, every morning and, and evening for a week. These foods are also given to the new mother to speed her recovery. Number 52. South Koreans who live to be 60 years old are often thrown a lavish party called Hwanga. It was started in the past when very few people lived to that age. It is also a significant birthday because the traditional Korean calendar is based on a 60-year cycle. Number 53, one of the, one of the nicknames uh, for the South Korean people is people who wear white, which came from the graceful white handbox that, common, that commoners wore during the early kingdoms. The handbox is still worn today, is still worn today, mainly ceremonial, ceremonially, and is, con and is honored as a cultural treasure. Number 54, South Korea is home to Cheongsung Day Obser Observatory, the world's first astro astronomical laboratory built during the mid-600s at Gyeongju. 
Number 55, about 2.1 million tell Koreans live in U.S. cities such as New York, Chicago, and Seattle. The first began immigrating in 1903, and they live on the Hawaiian Islands working on sugar and pineapple plantations. Number 56, South Korean martial art taekwondo is the country's most famous sport. It literally means the way of the fist and foot. It most likely started around 2,000 years ago when a Korean warrior developed a style, a style of fighting that used bare hands and feet instead of weapons. It is practiced worldwide today and became an official Olympic sport in 2002. It is the only Olympic sport that has originated in South Korea. Number 57. So, Assyrian or Korean wrestling can be traced back to 37 BC. It started as a competition between the villagers become, before it became a martial art. Today, it is a televised sport which matches with matches performed in stadiums. Two wrestlers drive each other's sash and try to push each other out a ring of sand. Number 58. Korean South Korea's top the list worldwide in terms of hard liquor consumption and general soju korean distilled rice liquor is the best selling liquor in the world for the 11 year in the world in a row it also is North vodka which came in second by 37.48 million cases number 59 south korean women are good at golf 38 is the top 100 female golfers in the world and nine of the korean top 25 are south korean Lydia Ko set the world record in 2013 for the youngest woman ever to win a professional tournament at age 14. In February, she was also the youngest golfer of either gender to be ranked number one in the world. And in September 2015, she became the youngest golfer to win a, a major pro golf tournament, the EVN Championship and Championship in France. Number 60. The most common family names in South Korea are Kim, Lee, also named Yi or B, and Park or Pak. With with no with P A K, more than twenty percent of South Koreans have the name have the last name Kim. Number sixty one. No one has seen ha an Amer or Korean tiger in the wild for many years, but it's found in Korean mythology as the guardian of the people, driving away evil spirits. Scientists that the um, think that the Amer tiger and Siberian tiger, which live in Russia, may be the same species. Number 62, Valentine's Day in South Korea is celebrated with a twist. It is a day where women show their love for their men by giving chocolates and gifts to their husbands or boyfriends. On March 14, Koreans celebrate White Day, where men buy gifts for their ladies, but they are supposed to spend three times the amount they receive on Valentine's Day. In fact, the 14th of every month is a romantically themed holiday in the country, including Kiss Day in June and Hug Day in December. The status of all this is April 14, which is known as... Black Day and single Koreans more the lack of love by eating sticky black noodles called jajangmyeon. I think it's like black bean noodles, I'm pretty sure. Number 63. The current Secretary General of the United Nations is Ban Ki moon. In 2013, Forbes magazine listed him 30, 32nd on its list of the most powerful people in the world. Number 64. Both the tiger and rabbit are important Korean folk symbols. Some Koreans say the Korean peninsula is shaped like a tiger and others a rabbit. Both animals are found in Korean folk tales and folk art. Number 65. The demilitarized zone or DMZ was built on top of the demolished village of Panmunjom during the Korean War. It divides North and South Korea and is one of the most heavily militarized borders in the world. Number 66, Hyundai Kia, automotive group in the South Korea's largest automaker and the second largest in Asia. In 2013, they bring out the fifth largest automaker in the world, manufacturing some 7.5 million new cars and trucks. It is also a chaibu, a dynasty, a business dynasty or a conglomerate. Number 67, the Organization for Economics Cooperation and Development, OE. OED, OECD declared that South Korea is the country with the highest estimated national IQ on earth. Number 68. The average South Korean works 55 hours a week or 2,316 hours a year compared to the 40 hour wake of the average factory worker in the United States. Number 69. Kite flying is a popular pastime in South Korea and on the last day of the new moon during the Lunar New Year, People traditionally let go of their kites, hoping their bad luck will float away with them. Number 70. Called Queen Yuna, South Korean vigorous skater, skater 
Yuna Kim is one of the brightest stars in Korean sports. She won the gold medal. She won the gold medal in February 2010 at the Winter Olympics in Vancouver, Canada, becoming the first Korean to win to medal in any uh, in any Olympic figure skating discipline. Her gold medal was also South Korea's first medal at the Winter Olympics in, in something other than speed skating or short track. Kim's combined scores were the highest ever recorded and were entered into Guinness World Records. Number 71. Christmas is an official holiday in South Korea, with almost one-third of South Koreans being Christians. Santa Claus may be wearing a blue rather than red suit in South Korea, and he is also known as Santa Coloso, or Grandfather Santa. Number four, number 72. For the Harvest Moon Festival, more than 20 million South Koreans travel to their hometowns to visit the graves of their ancestors and bring gifts such as fine foods to place on their graves. Number 73, South Korean wedding garments are usually red, which is a symbol of good fortune. Number 74, in traditional Korean medicine, the gallbladder of the moon bear has great healing pow powers. Although there is no modern medical evidence that proves this cure is true, some South Koreans still eat the organ to treat diabetes, heart disease, and liver problems. People also make a stew from the bear's claws that they think will give them extra strength. As a result, only a few moon bears still exist in the wild in, in South Korea. Number 75, former President Bill Clinton once, said, once called the DMZ the scariest place on earth. Number 76, when taking a photo, South Koreans say kimchi instead of cheese. Mm, weird, that's so funny. <laughs> Number 77, as of 2013, 78.5% of the South Korean population had a smartphone. The highest percentage in the world, among 18 to 24 year olds, 97.7% have a smartphone. Number 78, for the busy morning commute in Seoul, the city has hired professional subway pusher pushers who wear uniforms and white gloves and literally pack as many people as possible onto the subway trains. Number 79, Koreans, both North and South, speak and write the Hangul or Hangul language and consists of 14 consonants and 10 vowels and the alphabet can be combined into various syllables. It is considered one of the standard scientific writing systems. Number 80, the last one, since 1998, million, millions of people from around the world have flocked to South Korea's Boryang Mud Festival, where for four days, um, where for 10 days, not four days, 10 days, revelers enjoy mud, ma mud massages, mud photo, contest, contest, photo contests, mud marathons, and mud wrestling contests. It was, it was originally conceived as a way to advertise mud cosmetics. So I'm not done yet, so we I'm going to say some important dates that happened in South Korea or Korea. Number six in six thousand BC, Stone Age peoples arrive in Korea. In one hundred and eight, Chinese Han Dynasty establishes four territories on the Korean Peninsula. In fifty seven to eighteen, so I guess uh one hundred and eight eight BC was the last one, fifty seven BC to eighteen eighty. The Silla, Gur Guriel, and Bakji kingdoms are founded. In AD 668, Go Guriel and Bakji kingdoms are unified under Silla. In 918 AD, Wang Khan founds the Goryeo dynasty. In 1231 AD, Mongols invade Goryeo. Number 1392 AD, Yi Song Gi founds the Joseon dynasty. Number 1446 AD, King Sejong introduces Hangul, a, a phonetic alphabet to replace the Chinese-based writing system. In 1592 AD, Japan invades Korea. Number, in 1598, Korea drives out Japan with the help of China. Admiral Yi Sun Sin uses ironclad turtle ships to defeat the Chinese, Japanese. 1656, shipwrecked Dutch sailors began the first Europeans to set foot on the Korean Peninsula. In 1783 AD, Catholicism arrived in Korea. In 1876 AD, Korea opens three ports to international trade. In, 18, in 1894, the Dong Hak up, uprising leads to the Sino Japanese War for control of Korea, which is 80. In 1948, Seung Ri, formerly Yi Sung Man, is elected president of South Korea. In 1988, Seoul hosts the Olympic Games. 
1991, both Koreas joined the United Nations. In 2002, South Korea and Japan co-host the World Cup. In uh, 2006, Korean Foreign Ma Minister Ban Ki-moon is appointed as Secretary General of the United Nations. In 2010, Japan apologizes to South Korea for colonization on, in the, on the 100th anniversary of Japan's annexation of the Korean Peninsula in 1910. In 2012, South Korea elected its first female president, Park Geun Hee, and it, in 2014, the Siwa Korean ferry accident happened in 2014. So yeah, so those are all age facts about Korea that I'm going to be talking about today. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy, make sure to subscribe to my channel, turn on post notifications, make sure to see every single video when I post. And yeah, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, Tuffy, and love you guys.